now how is the death of a believer and how is the death and what are the conditions at the time of death of a non believer allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah anfal verse number 50 walau tara iza yatawaffa allazina kafaru almalaikatu yadribuna wujuhahum wa adbarahum wa dhuqu adhab alhariq if only you could see how the angels receive those who disbelieve hitting them on their faces astaghfirullah rabbi hitting them on their faces and their backs and scolding them saying what zuhu adhab al hariq taste the punishment of burn surah muhammad verse 27 allah says fa kayfa iza tawaffathum al malaikatu yadribuna wujuhahum wa adbarahum then how will it be with them when the angels gather them hitting their faces and their backs how is how are all the stages of a person who is a non believer who is a transgressor who is a hypocrite hazrat bara bin azib radiyallahu ta'ala and who reports that we had joined a funeral of a companion who was who was an ansari and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also came over and when we reached the graveyard the grave was uh, being dug and it was not ready yet so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sat down and we also sat around him silently and uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was holding a stick and he began scraping the earth with it and suddenly he raised his head and he said seek shelter of allah from the torments of grave seek shelter of allah from the torments of grave seek shelter of allah from the torments of grave and then he started narrating the happenings at the time of the death he said that when a non believer is about to leave the world and set out to her after then who comes black faced angels they have they have very horrifying faces and they have with them they have with them an awfully smelling and a filthy sack cloth and all this group of angels they sit far away from the person and the angel of death israel comes close to the head side of the patient of the person and he says oh wicked soul so he addresses the soul directly Oh wicked soul leave the body and set out to the anger and the wrath of your Allah and listening this what happens is the soul retreats in the body and then it gets sticks up and it clings to the body and the angel then draws it out as an iron bar is dragged out of wet cloth or wet cotton the other angels then do not let the the soul be in the hands of israel and they take up the wicked soul and they wrap it up in that filthy sack cloth and then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it gives out the most offensive smell it gives out the most offensive smell on the face of the earth and from everywhere when they pass carrying this soul the angels ask them whose wicked soul is this and they answer in disrespect it is the soul of such and such wicked person and they give it the worst names then the soul is brought to the heaven to the sky of the world and they they knock at the door they request the door to be opened but the angels of this door they refused to open the door for this wicked soul and saying that that the angels of the heaven the first sky they refused to open the door prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam recited verse 40 of surah al araf they who deny our revelations and scorn them 
for them the gates of heaven will not be opened nor they will nor will they enter the gardens until and unless the camel goes through the needle's eye that is that as much as it is like next to impossible like it is next to impossible that a camel can go through or it can pass through the needle's eye so similarly it is next to impossible that people who disobey who reject the verses of Allah and the teachings of Quran and Hadith and Sunnah it is like next to impossible that the doors of heaven will be open for them or they will not it is next to impossible that they will enter into jannah Allahumma la taj'alna minhum and then the prophet as him said that Allah orders for the soul for whom the doors of the heaven are not being opened then Allah orders enter its name in the register of sijin sijin is what it is a place it is a prison it is an office in the deepest portions under the earth where the souls and where the deeds of the evil doers of the disbelievers of the hypocrites of the transgressors of the polytheists will be dumped and will be will be imprisoned Allah will say enter its name in the registers of sijin and then it is dashed down to the ground most confidently and hence and hence it is imprisoned in sijin because you know what the person was an evil doer and all his evil deeds were deposited were collected were stored were gathered every mondays and every thursdays in sijin so now the evil soul will also be collected with the evil deeds in the prison of sijin and totally contrary to the whole situation like totally 180 degrees opposite situation is going to be when there's the death time of death of the believer hazrat bara bin azib radhiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in mustad ahmad that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam now narrated what for the believer he said that when a believer is to leave this world for here after the angels which are going to come to receive the soul are like what they have beautiful shining and glowing faces and they will be clad in clean and pure white dresses and they will have a soft silken scented cloth from the jannah and all this group of angels with the, they will sit at a distance from the person and then the angel of death israel will come and sit at the head end of the believer and say o oh, holy soul allahumma ja'alna minhum oh allah make us one of these oh allah make us one of these the angel israel will come and will address the the believer from the head end and will say o oh, holy soul O oh, pious soul leave the body and set out to the forgiveness and happiness from Allah so the soul and the